Beloved, the cross restores our beauty that we lost to sin in the Garden of Eden. Our topic today, Accept the Blood of the Cross. Mark 11.39 So when the centurion who stood opposite him saw that he cried out like this and breathed his last, he said, Truly, this man was a son of God. That was Mark 15 verse 39. We cannot be Christians in the faith without the cross. The cross declares that the power of sin has been crossed out, dealt with, and destroyed forever. It clarifies to us what a holy God thinks about our sinful nature. It has to be judged. Someone had to be punished for our sin. It was either going to be us or a substitute. The cross gave us our substitute. Jesus Christ, who died in our place. People of the world do not know the implication of not accepting Jesus Christ. To count him of no worth, to misunderstand his work at the cross, to leave and relegate him to a brief hour on the resurrection of Christmas Day is to despise him as surely as the soldiers crucified him on that hill far away. To reject Jesus is to throw the only chance for forgiveness. Jesus died in our place on a wooden cross 2,000 years ago so we could be forgiven. We only have to accept that forgiveness so that we experience God as a loving Father who never forsakes His children. Isaiah 25 verses 6 to 9 Beloved, the cross restores our beauty that we lost to sin in the Garden of Eden. A great inheritance has been released to you and me. Colossians 1.13 in his agony on the cross, Jesus interceded for sinners and still continues to intercede for us in heaven. We have to accept the cross. The Roman army officer realized that something extraordinary had happened and said, Truly, this was the Son of God. Mark 15, 39 We can attend church regularly, teach Sunday school and sing in the choir. Yet, if we refuse to accept the cross, how shall we neglect such a great salvation? Therefore, any gospel proclamation that does not preach the cross of Christ and its deliverance from the power of sin is ultimately heading for failure. All such efforts will be empty of the presence of Christ and His Spirit. Read John 1 verse 17, Colossians 2 verses 14 to 15. By cancelling the record of debt that stood against us with its legal demands, this he set aside, nailing it to the cross, blotting out the handwriting of the ordinances that stood against us, which was contrary to us. He disarmed the rulers and authorities and put them to open shame by triumphing over them in him. Our meditation today is taken from Colossians 1 verses 20 to 22 and Isaiah 53 verse 12. Colossians 1 and through him to reconcile to himself all things, whether on earth or in heaven, making peace by the blood of his cross. And you who once were alienated and hostile in mind, doing evil deeds, he has now reconciled in his body of flesh by his death, in order to present you holy and blameless and above reproach before him. Isaiah 53 Therefore I will divide him a portion with the many, and he shall divide the spoil with the strong, because he poured out his soul to death and was numbered with the transgressors. Yet he bore the sin of many and makes intercession for the transgressors. For your Bible study, read Hebrews 8, Exodus 5 verses 1 to the end, and chapter 6 verses 1 to 7, and Proverbs 1 